Hello there, and thank you for joining me for this, the last in the series of the highlights of Motorman. I'm Andy Crane, but you'll soon be rid of me, and as this is a special occasion, I've booked myself a table at the local posh restaurant to celebrate. In today's transmission, we have the last energy-packed episode of Mousetrap. Steve Johnson gets a birthday surprise. Right Said Fred performed two numbers live. And on this day, two years ago, we were preparing for the first live transmission of a wedding. What time is it? What time is it? It is five minutes after the last time you asked me what time is it. I'm sorry, Paul. I just want to get everything done before Mother arrives. She, she's a bit bossy and she does tend to fuss. Well, you had to get it from somewhere. Huh? Something blue, eh? Yes, and my dress is the new. I haven't found anything old yet, though. Max? Paul. And the bridesmaid's dresses are borrowed. Bridesmaid's dresses. Bridesmaid's dresses should be here by now. Where are they? Where are they? Mel's coming over with the dresses from Auntie Beryl's. Oh. Just relax, will you? Yeah. You're going to have a terrific day. I'm going to have a terrific day. <sighs> Looks kind of bare, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, it's funny. You work with a bunch of people and then it's over. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like life, really. You just get used to being alive and then <laughs> dead. Hey, you know, I found some terrific things when I was clearing up. Look, remember these old ski hats that Millie made us? <laughs> yes, I remember oh, those. And a historic relic in here somewhere. Max's wig! Oh, <laughs> oh, smelly. oh, and this old piece of junk. I couldn't work out where it was oh, from. That is not an old piece of junk. It's a very valuable work of art, and it's mine. I'm so excited to do, do, do that I just can't hide it. Do, 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 do. I'm about to lose control and I think I like yeah, it. Yeah, Millie, if you lose control, I will not like it at all. Hey, Max! You remember Max, don't you? Yes, hello, Mel. Hi. Mel, has she done it? Has she done it? She's finished in the middle. Now, did she do that She's done all that. It's going to be great. We're going to look so good. Did she took that she bit took in? She took that bit in. Excuse, excuse me, me I'm great. terribly oh, sorry to mention you this incredibly important conversation, but we're trying to move this bench. But why don't you go and see Juliet because All she's right. panicking about who's here, who's not yeah. here. Right, okay. okay. See you in a minute. Later. See you in a minute. Right. Come on. Oh, can on we have go. five minutes rest? One minute's rest. <sighs> I don't know. What don't you know? A wedding, eh? Oh, yeah. Do you know, this is the second bridesmaid I've been this year. <sighs> really? Mind you, Juliet's wedding's going to be posh than Argainers. Argainers look rough. You surprise me. And Ray, I mean, he's handsome man, isn't he? He yeah. really is. He's tall. He's dark. Lots he's, of hair. He's got Too lots tight. and lots yeah, of hair. He really has got. Hey. Oh, hey! Oh, hey. 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 Get on there. Hey. 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 All right. Hey! Oh, is that wow. the cake? It is. <laughs> it's a bit of the cake. Hey, what are you doing? Don't give that cake to her. Millie, put that down. What? Put it down. Oh. Don't open the box. Look, shall I just take you through to the marquee and then yep. we can go? Yep, lovely. lovely. Just oh. 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 Sad moment for me now. I must have made about a hundred of these. Excuse and me. Excuse me a second. Just one second. Yeah, just like that there. Cheers, cheers. Where was I? Yes. I, I must have made about a hundred of these, and this is going to be the last ever. Steve, uh, yeah? Can you just keep your own up for me? Yeah, all right, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Mate, cheers. Um, last, last ever. Last ever, yeah. This is the last oh, ever. So, Steve. What is it, boys? Well, it's a tradition, isn't it, Steve? It's just before Mousetrap. It's that time of the show where Neil and I generally cover you in gloop. <laughs> yeah. So we thought, with it being the last show, no tricks, no cons, we'd just come straight out and pour it all over your head. Okay? Fair enough, fair, fair enough. enough. Yeah. Why? Suit, suit. It's the best suit. It's the best suit. And I'm wearing it for the wedding, and Juliet will get really upset. He's got a point, Mr. Buchanan. He certainly has got a point, Mr. Crane. However, can you hold the fort in your usual eloquent manner? Certainly can. Yes, obviously, our viewers, we've presented with a slight problem this morning, uh, which my friend and colleague, an eminent broadcaster, Mr. Neil Buchanan, is now attempting to resolve. We'll be back with you in just a moment. Uh, resolved the problem yet, Mr. Buchanan? I certainly have. I think, Mr. Ah, Crane, indeed there it you is. have. Problem Smashing. solved. Shall we? I think we should, Mr. Crane. <laughs> After you, Mr. Buchanan. Ah, not at all, Mr. Crane. After you. <laughs> Thank you, boys. How thoughtful. Mousetrap. Our contestants who are playing the game this week. Your name is? I'm Hayley Rogers. I'm age 12 and I like swimming, cycling, netball. Oh, you're quite fit then, eh? <laughs> you, do, you don't do all those things at once, do you? No. <laughs> right, what about you? 
My name's Matthew Round, I'm age 12, and I like football and cricket. Ah, so we've got sports people on. Well, you've got to be quite fit to play this game, Mousetrap, you know. Right, you know the rules by now, don't you? Yep. Right, let's have a look. See who we've got in the middle there, helping us play the game with Rag. We've got Kevin Richardson and Kate Wickens. Yeah! Now, the big prize that you're playing for this week is our four-star prize. It is our Colour TV. Ooh. So are you ready? Yep. Are we all ready? Yeah! Right, let's do the let's do the count, shall we? Three, two, one, one go! go! Across you go, across you go, across you go. Come on. That's a very bad start there. Start again, go on. Come on, Hayley. Get it together. Right. Take your time on this one, Hayley. Take your time, and you will do it. All right. Hold her hands as she needs to. Her. All right. Oh, we're on here, we're on here. Right, now. This is a memory square. Bit of thinking you've got to do here. Under here, I've got ten things. You've got ten seconds to remember them in. Let's have a look, see what we've got. We've got a penguin, a domino, a bu uh, bubble bath there. We've got a uh, comb, rock, battery, grape, egg, feather, and that there. All right. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, I've got to put the lid on now. Tap fire, tap fire. Uh, you're going to have to shift them now. What are you going to do? Let's go through there and switch it off, OK? Come on, come on! Go on, Matthew! Move it, move it, move it! Oh, no! I'm back again! Back again! Into here, into here! Come on! Now there are some teddy bears in there. I want the teddy bears. I want them. I want you to find them. I want you to find those teddy bears. Come on! Come on! One. Right. What else we got? What we got? What we got? We got two. We got two. We got two. Whoa! Try again. One more, one more to find. One more to find. Come on, come on. One more teddy bear. There must be another teddy bear in there. I hope you haven't thrown it off. One more. Come on. Come on. Come on. There must be one here. Come on, this is the last game. Come on. Come on. I don't need to move. Hit that one. Come on. This is the last game. I think we should move on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. This is my game, and it's the last game of the So let's have a look. See what you've got to do here. See you. You've got to find the five differences between these two houses, and then mark them with the stars. All right. Take your time on this. And what we got? We've got yes, there, there. So do it on one picture, then we can find out. So we've got the middle window. What's that there? Got the old drain pipe there. We've got two chimneys. We've got something else to find. No, no. No, no, have a look at the, uh, have a look at the old uh, door, perhaps. Of course you can, not to the timeout square. Stop the clock. Now, that was a tough side for you, wasn't it? Very tough. Now, we didn't find one of the teddies, but I thought we could move on, because this is the last game of the series. Also, unfortunately, the trap did fire, so we're going to have to replace your four-star prize with a three-star prize, which is a Skeletrix Le Mans kit, so you should like that. Right, on this side, you've won this brilliant hero quest and speechless game. Right, you've got about just over four minutes left to do the game in, so let's get going. I want eight balls into there. Now, take your time on this. We've got one. We've got two. Three. Come on. Three. How do I can't do it. Three. Here we go. I can see another one coming. Seven. One more. Hey, onto the memory square. Right, I want you to remember four things from that memory square that I showed you earlier. From underneath a battery, the square. Domino, uh, yeah. A penguin. Yeah. A feather. And a what? Feather. Feather is great. Over the wall. Over the wall. Sorry, help her over. There you go. I'll hang the over. Come on. Come on. Up and across. Here we go. Onto here. Oh, we've got that here. Right, now, let's have a look, see what we've got to do here. Pass the ringer from here to here. You'll swap over at this yellow point, and if you touch the wire, the buzzer will sound, and then you'll have to go back and start again. Are you ready? Take your time, take your time. Take your time, this one. Concentrate, concentrate. Ooh, it's nearly there. Take it easy, take it easy. If you get to the yellow, it will pass over. Right, let me take hold of this now. Have you got it? OK, take your time now. Don't shake.
It's mind you, the old school fate, isn't it? Yes! Auto Tire Square! Stop the clock! Well done, Haley. Your little hand was taking <laughs> like this, but you got it done in time. Let's see what you've won this brilliant camera outfit! <laughs> Down this side, you've got just under three minutes left to do the game, and you're doing extremely well, and I think you're going to get it done. Are you ready? Through there! Take your time through here, be careful. Here you go. Oh, here we go. Come on, get yourself out here. Get yourself out there. Go on, Matthew. Right, go on to the marks. These are, this is the mime square. I'm going to show you a number of dances. I want you to mime them, and you've got to guess what they are, right, Matthew? Here we go. What do you reckon that is? Ballet. Ballet is correct. How about this one? Uh, <laughs> it's break. kind of a bit of a mime, but it's got some noise in it. Break dance. No, it isn't. It isn't. When people... Tap dance. Tap dance is correct. What about this one? Waltz. Bo well, it's... Ballroom. Ballroom is correct. How about that? Tap slide, tap slide. I'll take your time on here. As soon as you get down, touch the gym. Get there and switch this thing up. You could do it. You could do it. All right. Now, concentrate. Because you, you could get... All right, let's go to this. Here. Disco is correct. One more. That one. Come on. Let's. What are you? What's you like? What are you do to your body? You twist. Twist is correct. Move on to here. Right now. You've got to knock the balloons off. No, right, faster than I can get there. Right now. This is a true or false square. Take this away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to tell me if it's true or false. Okay. Talk to each other first. Confer before giving me the answer. Are you ready? Plastic is made from oil. True or true. false? True. True, it's great. Doesn't tell us where to stop there. Come on. Well done to you. You bombed down that side. You did very well. That means you're going to take out this brilliant Joe Bloggs gear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, you still play for the three star prize of Scale Electrics game. You might well be taking that home with you. But you've got just over a minute left to do the game in, so you're going to have to steam down this side. Are you ready? Go. Right. This is, uh, see what we've got to do here. Name the flower. Put the right name on the right flower. All right. Let's have a look. We've got a rose there. We've got a carnation there. Poppy there. Tulip there. Iris there. Let's move on. Across the top here. Come on. Away you go. Away you go. Away you go. Stay where you are. Hello. Right. Now, what I want you to do is remember one other thing from that tray. Come. A comb is correct. Right, I want three hoops over. Three hoops over the pole. Right, take your time. Two, one, two, one more, one more. Come on, you're almost there. Yes, that's the time, that's Stop the clock. You finished that with 30 seconds left on the clock. You did extremely well. Stand upright, Matthew. Well done. Now you've won everything on the way down. On the way round, I should say. And also, on this fourth side, you've won this brilliant Sega Master System! <laughs> the game is yours. Well, almost, because it's time to enter the trap. Come with me! Come with me! What's that? What's that? All right, all right. This is it. This is the important part. You're playing for a scale electrix. All right, that's your three-star prize. But what you're going to do, first of all, is answer four questions in the time it takes for the trap to fire, the ball to go round, and the cage to fall. Are you ready? Fire! The trap! What have Sooty and Orville the Duck got in common? Both puppets. They are both puppets. What are the poles called that the American Indians carve? The totem. Totem poles, that's two. That is correct. Who is known as the Bard of Avon? Don't know. Shakespeare. What? Which cartoon dog sleeps on top of his kennel? Snoopy. Snoopy, that's Snoopy. three! How many days are there in a leap year? 29. No, it isn't. Uh, 366. If you belong to the RSPB, what might your hobbies be? Dad's watching. Dad's watching, correct! <laughs> well done, that means... Do you know what you won? The three-star prize, which is the Scale Electric set! <laughs> you can't get much closer than that, can you? Have you had a good time? Yes. Well, I hope you've had a good time too with all these games that we've given you, and hopefully, we'll see you again with another brilliant game of. <laughs> Thank you. Come and have a look at this.
<laughs> Something's wrong, Millie. It doesn't feel right. Ow! Watch the pins. Melanie, I thought you said Auntie Beryl had altered these dresses. Well, she has. Then why is mine three foot too long? Mine's three foot too short. <laughs> Mel, Millie. You know, you've done a great job with that. Thanks. You can hardly see any of the numbers. Oh, what? Well, you can see Paul, that there. This is a very valuable work of art, not one of my painting by numbers. Oh, oh, sorry. Can't you tell it's a Gatwood? Oh, yeah. Who's that? Mary Gatwood, a local artist, very famous. Mm. Lived on this spot with her family for generations, long before the studios were built, of course. Oh. So, uh, do you pay a lot for it? Well, I. Yeah, I did, yes. But, I mean, it is Ray's wedding present, after all, and it's oh, yeah. an investment for our future. Oh, yeah. But the money isn't important. No. Sentimental value. It's a view of the landscape upon which he and I met and fell in love. <laughs> I know he'll appreciate that. Yeah. Mother! Oh. Antique, eh? Wow, sure looks old. Oh, it's falling apart. What do you think, Paul? Holy smoke! Oh, I know I look good, but I don't look that good. This is incredible! What do you think I'll need for makeup? Get a shovel and a trowel and meet me in the loo. This appears to be my table. Right, so apart from the fact that Juliet's as nervous as a cat, Millie squashed the cake and Paul wants to go adventuring in the loo. The wedding's all going according to plan. Join me after the break to see how things progressed. Also, right said Fred, sing deeply dippy, and Steve Johnson gets a shot from a couple of cake makers. Thank you very much. Chrissy, look at that. Fantastic. Lobster, my favourite. Welcome back to this last in the current series of the best of Motormouth. I've moved from the confines of my beach hut to this lovely restaurant to toast the final episode. So while I took into my lobster, why don't you go back to the Motormouth studios and find out how Paul's treasure hunt is progressing. OK, Paul, we've disconnected and we've reconnected the washing machine. We've run a bath in Andy Crane's dressing room and now we're searching for treasure in the toilet. Yeah. I know it seems incredible, but I found this map in the back of Juliet's antique painting. And the painter used to live right here. Look, it clearly indicates something of value that's been hidden. And there's this clue. The water flows underground where, where the entrance will be found. Oh, I've got it. We turn on the taps, we get rubies and diamonds. We switch on the shower, we get liquid gold. And maybe, just maybe, if we're really lucky, we'll pull the towel ring and an enchanted castle will grow before our very eyes. <laughs> did you say you had? Oh, I'm not sure. I've got them breeding in my vestry. Uh, more teeth. Oh, tea, Vicar. No? Hey, come on, don't mistake it. Yes, hey, right, there you have go. you seen me new jacket? Uh, how could I miss it, Frank? Now, how are we going on here? Well, I think we've solved the problem. We're oh, going to yeah. ice this cake that we brought for Elevenses. Yeah. So Fantastic. I think it'll be oh, okay. that's great. Oh, well Trumpet. done. Yes, Maud. When I think of the money I spent on your education, I could weep. I'm sorry? You've learnt none of the social graces. I'm sorry? I need a refill. I'm sorry. Hmm. Now, Maud, where's Mumsy? Oh, I did think of bringing her, but the brass needed polishing. Oh. I really don't know why I came either. <laughs> when I remember the last wedding I went oh, to. Oh, and whose is that, Maud? Yours. <laughs> and we all know how that ended. Yeah. What a I... shambles. Really, your mother and I begged Myrtle not to go through with it. We told her leopards don't change their spots or even their smelly salts. But she wouldn't listen. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, sorry, Juliet, you can't come in here, the cake. Mel, will you take over? Sorry, there you go. He's been a great disappointment to me. Now, just calm down, will you? Now, I don't want you getting excited today, OK? Now, what is the problem? What do you want? I can't do my veil without me. I'll do the veil, then, You don't know anything about veils. I'm very good with veils. OK, now, there. Is that it? No, look, it's all right. If you don't wriggle, it'll be fine. Now, let's have a look. You don't need these, do you? What? You look lovely. Thanks for your help. Hello. It's deep. Very deep. I've got to say this. It could be dark, even frightening down there. So if you have any reservations at all, I don't want you to come with me. See you later. Hey, Millie, hang on a second. It could be treasure down there. It belonged to Juliet. 
She might share it with us. I don't want to go down the hole. Uh, uh, not the hole, our hole. You just covered it. Don't you just want to have a little look? Well, well I can't go down it because I'm going to wreck my bridesmaid's dress. Really? I'm best man. You don't think for a second I'd suggest going down there if, we, if there was any chance of us getting our clothing smudged? One minute. You won't regret this. Come on in, Millie. The tunnel's lovely. Paul, shut your eyes. Come in, old son. I haven't seen you for ages. No, I haven't seen oh, you either. Right. Juliet's Where through there. She? She's through there. Oh, Mr. Hello. Merriman, hi. Nice to see you. Oh, oh everyone's oh, coming along. Yeah. Hi, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, Camilla. Yeah. Oh, come a long way. Oh, get through to Juliet. Hello. Yes, there's a cup of tea in the lounge for you. Max, Max, where's Mummy? Where's Miss Mummy here? Uh, no, I don't know. And Paul's Juliet, got to Juliet, the Juliet, Juliet, no, you're going to get excited again. No, 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 no. Well, no, don't, no. because we don't want you sweating through the dress, do no, we? No, we, we don't. Right, now, everything is under control. Why don't you go and find a nice, dark corner, no. sit down, relax, and... Max. Hey, maybe do your makeup. <laughs> I've done my makeup. You were never lovelier. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm Bunty Nichols, the bride's mother. <gasps> well, it's certainly dark. Yeah. And it's quite damp, isn't it, and spooky? Oh, oh, oh. Do you know, it reminds me of those films. You know, the ones you watch on the telly where you go, don't go down the tunnel! And they go down the tunnel, and look at us. <laughs> We're down the tunnel. Hell Tunnel of Megadeth was a bit like that. This family, they went into the cell and they went under the tunnel, they got into the tunnel and they thought they were finding like tortured bodies and people who were screaming everywhere. And then, and then the things they went to close again, they were crushing the bodies and they were screaming like, in absolute agony. And they were dying! <laughs> Grip on yourself. This is a perfectly ordinary tunnel. It's probably like a disused Victorian sewer main or something. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Yes. <laughs> of course, I've been wrong before. Hold it in there, Mummy. Let's have Oh, you look lovely. <gasps> Thank you. So do you. How's Daddy? Oh, not too bad. But the old war wound is playing up again, you know. Can't get out of a chair. Well, I'm afraid we don't have any chairs here, Mummy. We'll have to slum it. Oh. How young. <laughs> now, darling, I want to hear all about this Raymond oh, of yours. Mummy, he is so lovely. He's very tall and dark and incredibly handsome. What does he do? Uh, well, he, he's sort of between um, jobs at, at the moment. Don't shout at me, Mummy. He's a singing telegram. Oh! But, uh, he's not an actor, is he? No, Mummy. I mean, he doesn't sort of paint his face and jump about No, a bit. he doesn't paint oh. his face and jump oh. about. He's Good. just... And what do his parents do? Well, his, 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 his father's, um... Army? Navy? Um, his mother used to, um... Church or charity work? Well, uh, they'll be here in a minute, Mummy. You can ask them yourself. Darling, how long have you known him? Two and a half months. Oh, darling, that doesn't sound very long. Mummy, you married Daddy after only two weeks. Well, yes, but he only had two weeks leave from the Foreign Legion. Besides, it only takes two weeks to get to know your father. That's true. Darling, don't you think you're being a little hasty? You don't seem to know very much about him. Mummy, don't worry about me. I know everything I need to know. If I was getting married, I'd be well proud to have a beautiful cake made for me like this. So if you see a cake like that, you know who it is. Who's made it? It's Greg and Max. Greg, thanks. Thanks, yeah, thanks for coming in for the last show. <laughs> That's a pleasure. Bye. That is a truly beautiful cake. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. What is it? <laughs> well, it's, it's based on the lost city of Atlantis, would you believe? Is it? It's so, so, it looks really difficult, but yeah. it's really very simple to achieve. Do you remember when we did the edible jewellery? Yeah. And we were showing how to mould over shells. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of this is moulded over shells of different types. So we've got all these on the top here. Yeah. And the little sort of pieces of coral around here right. are, is just icing that's pressed through a garlic press. Do you remember when we made the hair? The hair for, on the mermaid. That's right. Yeah. The, the Christmas ones, that's right. I mean, moving down a bit, we wanted different ribbons on there to give it a very watery feel and a bit oh, of right. texture on, on the uh, what are these? Can you hold these, it up. These bits here? <laughs> no, they're real flowers, but right. they match beautifully. We haven't airbrushed these. And then the further you come down the cake, in fact, we've used the same kind of icing, that's the gelatin icing, over some kind of garden statue. So you've got faces down here and lion's heads at the front, and that's made in just the same way that's by moulding over. And then the whole thing is airbrushed in, in pale blue and lilac and pinks. What, what, what with paint? Household paint? With food colours. Right. Household yeah. paint. <laughs> yes. That would taste nice. That is true. We'll <laughs> look forward to eating that later Indeed. on this morning. But what, what else are you doing for us this morning, then? Um, nothing. Nothing. We don't want to do anything No, a bit else. bored with this idea, no. really. You don't want to do these cakes here, then? No. no. 
Um, right, yeah. but don't panic because we've got everything under control. Okay, Neil, Gabby. You thought everyone had forgotten your birthday. <laughs> Who's that? In fact, yes. But we have it. I don't. Come on, oh, I'm going out. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear. Your mum got in touch with me and sent me a photograph of you when you were four years old. Oh! <laughs> and there's more. The oh! County Grammar School of King Edward VII Market Harbour. Half yearly report, Stephen Johnson, design. Stephen is disruptive in class <laughs> and does no work, whatever. A complete waste of my time and his. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, you wait till I get home. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Oh, Steve, he's actually really shaking. Yeah. Oh, dear. Thanks, oh. And Greg, thank you very much. And yeah, for all your God. stuff over Brilliant. the series, it's been wonderful. Brilliant. Wow. It goes way back down there. Look, light. Uh -huh. Really? Can you hear a kind of strange whimpering noise, like a trapped animal, <laughs> gerbil or something? Paul, does it sound like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's me. Sorry, Listen, sorry. I can't go. I'm going to go back upstairs. Really? On second thought, I'm going to sit with you. Do you mind if I... No, go ahead. Um papa, that's how it goes. Um papa, um papa, everyone knows. They all suppose what they want to suppose. I know I find you here. What are you doing? When they... Well, where are Paul and Millie? I don't know. Well, go and find them, please, because we need them to get ready. Excuse me, Vicar and the Beautiful. What are you doing? Um papa. In your yes, imagine... yes, thank you, thank you. I was hoping for something a little bit more suitable. I should be so lucky. Slowly. Oh. Is it my imagination, or are the walls getting closer together? That's it, Paul. I can't move. I'm frozen to the spot with fear. What's the matter? What's the matter? Please, I'm moving. Is that bold? Yeah, yeah. I think it moves. Quick, push away! Well, you can just wipe that smile off your face, Sonny Jim. Sorry, that was a dirty trick. That boulder isn't going to move, is it? No, of course not. Now, look, come on, let's get down the end of the tunnel. Goodbye. Ooh! Millie, in situations like this, the important thing is not to panic. Oh, no. On the other hand, a little panic wouldn't hurt. <laughs> slower, Reg. Slower. Uh, Vicar, do you, do you have everything you need for the service? Well, of course, my son. Right. Oh, uh, there's Juliet walking down there. I've just got to go and see her. Will you excuse me? Vicar... Did you just hear a rumbling? My last supper. Pickled herrings. Really? You're just not trying! Well, I can't hold it any longer! Okay, okay. Look, when I count to three, boogie! Okay. One, two, three! Ah! Delightful, right said Fred, and there'll be another song from them in the next part of Motormouth. Also a look back at Would You Believe the Highlights of the Highlights and television's first ever live TV wedding. See you in a couple of shakes of a lobster's tail. Ha! Ah, bye, Joe. Slipped down a treat. I was Jolly Roger hungry. Welcome back to this, the final episode of Motormouth. Now, if you remember, we left Paul and Millie deep under the darkest recesses of the Motormouth studios in search of the Maidstone treasure. And as far as I know, that's where we'll still find them. I'm going to settle up here, so I'll meet you back at the beach hut in, say, 20 minutes, OK? You can't stay in that cranny forever, you know? Well, you could stay in that cranny forever, but it'd be really boring. Paul, I like this cranny. Me and this cranny get on well. In fact, I might even become a granny in this cranny. Pull yourself together! Look, we're almost at the end of the tunnel. It'll be plain sailing from here on in. Well, 
play in this setting, I mean, you know, there's bound to be a swamp or two. Well, if we don't give up to that wedding, exactly. Which is why if we come up empty handed, we're going to be toast. Now, come on. When the going gets tough, the tough find a plank. Huh. Almost as if it was left here on purpose or something. There. Off you go. You must be joking, man. You can go first. Okay. There. there, you see, it's easy. You see, all you have to do is take into account the tensile strength of the plank, and then you divide it by the span it's got to cover. It's the same principle in suspension bridges or any large construction that goes over some kind of body of water. Now look, take it easy, okay? It'll be solid as a rock. Easy, easy, easy! <clears throat> well, well, some rock's quite crumbly, you know. <clears throat> Tumex, it's Mummy. She's rather worried. She thinks I don't know enough about him. Well, you know that he's uh, singing telegrams. Well, that's true. I mean, I know that he's terribly, terribly handsome. Yes, and he does seem to be awfully fond of you. Max, what else do I need to know? You weren't, uh, well, in the beginning, I mean, you weren't very, uh, did, I, like, I didn't like, like him, him, no, no, no. no. Why, why was that? Well, it's so difficult to know where to start, actually. Oh, really? Look, Juliet, look, don't listen to me. Um, I'm sure that, that, that one day, his singing telegram career will take off and he'll be a really brilliant singing telegram. Max, it's really important to me that you and he get on. Because when I'm Mrs. Oxy Topping, I still want us to be friends just like always. Oh, you just try keeping me away. When you get to know him, Max, you'll see what a kind, sensitive, generous man he is. Oh, no, Millie's relatives have arrived. Oh, gosh. Oi, over here, darling. Sorry? <laughs> it's me. Raymond. It's Raymond. Raymond. I think it's too over the, the top, do you, Max? Don't you touch Excuse me, excuse me. Um, why don't you, why don't you three go through to the marquee? Because the wedding's going to be starting oh, in less than 20 really? minutes, I think. Right. Okay. okay. Um, anywhere but the first three rows. Okay. Okay. Right. What's that? It's a wedding cake. Yes, I know it's a wedding cake. But what is it supposed to signify? It's the lost city of Atlantis, actually. Okay. So you, you think of Juliet and you've made uh, some sort of old ruin. Why are you always so rude, Max? Yeah. You make it so easy, Max. Now, why don't you go... Uh, why don't you go to... Don't start. Go on. <laughs> go out to the marquee. Thank you. Uh, Max. Yes? Isn't it about time that I met my future son-in-law? Oh, good heavens, of course it is. Um, now, last time I saw him, he was he was talking to Julia. Oh, but he shouldn't be talking to the bride before the ceremony. Mrs. Nichols, I... Please, call me Bunty. Bunty. Right, yes, uh, but you know Juliet's like Bunty. She never pays any heed to convention. Hasty, headstrong. Where does she get it from? Her father, of course. That's how he lost his leg. Oh. Now, Max, do you really think that this match is quite suitable? Well, no, but what can I do? Well, Max, couldn't you talk to her? I fear the time for talking is past. What we must do is grit our teeth and get through the day for her. Over the top, Max. Gung-ho, Bunty. Is my hat on straight? Ship-shape. You shouldn't have been down there in the first place in your dress. I don't remember those things. There were three of them. You're going to just pull me in this chair. You're going to just pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. You're just going to pull me in this chair. Millie, and what a lightweight. One measly little swamp and she caves in. <clears throat> Bad choice of words. Okay. Let's see here. In the altar made of rock, you will find the treasure croc. Right. Huh. That should be here. Uh, the old board up the rock altar trick, eh? Well, it's gonna take one of them planks to stop me now. It's got a twin track there, right? And I've got two speakers at the back and two in the front, so you and me would stand to my bayer. Must have cost a lot of money to hire, Raymond. No, I didn't hire it. Oh, you borrowed it from a friend, right? No, no, no. I bought it. Well, 
quid, Raymond? You can't afford this sort of thing, not singing Telegram's wages. Oh, so now my job's not good enough for oh, you? Oh, no, no, that's not what I meant, Raymond, please. Oh, I'm just being silly. Why shouldn't we have a, a lovely car to ride around in on our wedding day? I mean, I bought you a present as well. Did you? Yes. Oh, what is it? It's a painting. Oh. It's a very special painting, Raymond. It, it's antique. Antique? Must have cost a fortune. Well, well yes, it did, but, but it's an investment for our future. I mean, every day it gains in value. Oh, great. So bang goes my buyer. Raymond, it's not the money that's important. It's sentimental value. It's a view of the landscape of the place that we met where we Junior, fell in love. How much did it cost? We on about Max. Don't ask questions. Paul's down there. Oh. Um, somebody's got to get him out. Well, who's going to go down and do that? You are. <laughs> nah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So what do you think? You look um green. Yeah. Gabby. You are. Yeah. You, well, Mel, you are. Mel. Do you think it fits me better now? It hangs. It really hangs. Yeah. Gabby, you have always been and will definitely always be to me. You are, definitely. So, you think I look OK? You look... rubbish. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Diamonds, maybe. No, no, roots. Yeah, quick pile of roots. No, platinum bars. Oh. Terrific. Somebody beat me to it. I never got the treasure. Wait a second. Oh! Oh! Oh, you're gonna go to the wedding! Yeah, yeah, see, I'll be there in a second, okay? Where are you? Oh! See? I've got a bad feeling about this. She's gonna kill me. You should have thought about that before you went down the tunnel anyway. It's too late to learn about it. Is this happening? Oh, Juliet. Yes? I'm sorry, it's green. Uh, that's fine, Minnie. You look lovely. You look really lovely. Juliet, will you please just be Would you just leave us alone for just a while, please? Yes, sure. Quickly. So, not only do I find out that you have used my name and the strength of my inheritance to get credit on a car, but you've done it with a house, a whole Juliet, look, look, will you just calm down? I mean, but, have I got worked up because you spent money on me? No, but no that's not the because point. I know that you love me. Oh, well, I... And I love you. Do you? Yeah. Big bags. Oh. I was just worried that, you know, you might have got ripped off. I'm sorry, Raymond. So, um, how much did it cost? It was a bargain, actually. It was ten thousand pounds. Ten grand? You wasted ten grand of my money your on money? some door. It's not your money. All right, my money. Right. Okay, Max, excuse me. I, uh, I just came to say there's been a bit of a last-minute hitch with the wedding you plans. You could say that again, Max. I'm sorry, I'll... I'll, I'll no, Max, stay here. Goodbye, Raymond. You are going to end up very sad and very, very lonely. Really, Raymond? Well, rather that than married to a cheat and a liar. Ray! Car keys. Take it, the wedding's off then. Well, this is it then, eh? Perhaps the last, last link ever at this table. Yeah, it's been good fun, though, hasn't it's it? It's been great, eh? Can I ask you something? Go ahead, yeah. Have you had any regrets coming over to the show line? One, actually, one tiny little one. I just think that occasionally throughout the last series, we might have been a bit hard on Steve with all the, you know... <laughs> you, you got to say yeah. that. Just actually, case. I felt that as well, but I think we got away with it because it's, it's all been in good fun and it, he takes it well. He's one, one of the, the boys, boys mates, and it all makes yeah. together. be fine. Anyway, listen, we put together a little uh, selection of highlights from the series Guys. that we thought you might enjoy. Guys. Some of our favourite moments. Hold on, moments. just before that, yeah. Steve yeah. Johnson asked me to give you this. Now, he said, just in case there was the unlikely chance that he wasn't able to join you for any minute of the show, he asked me to give you this and he said, this here, so mm -hmm. that's I'm doing. Sorry I can't be with you, lads. It's been nice working with you. But if you'd like to pull on that piece of rope, I've got a nice surprise for you. What piece of rope? Bit of rope. It's above you, idiot. Oh, that. Oh, oh it... Yeah, uh, uh, oh, I'm not falling He thinks we're going to fall for that one. No, uh, that. no, wait a minute. If you don't trust Steve, I certainly do. No, oh, Gabby, Gabby! The greatest oh. beat for the birthday cake. Night. All the best, mate. Oh, oh, oh. I should all... Jono, eh? Good old Steve. For God, for, for the, the sake of... Oh. Anxine! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> well, that's my highlight of the series. Now for the other highlights. <laughs>
Much as I hate to admit it, that is probably the highlight of the series. It certainly was. Yeah. Yeah. The low light was my bottom. The low light was all over your bottom. Ah, there you are. I want to talk to you about it. Take a corner. 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 Max, it's his duty to do things like this. I don't know like where this. he is, Julia. Well, I'll do it myself. Julia, look, Thanks. you're just going to have to stop rushing into things. Oh, Max, somebody has got to say something. <laughs> Relationships are very complicated, don't you think? Sometimes you can you can make a good situation out of a bad one. You can turn things around to your advantage. How do you expect me to do that? Look, I'm just very worried about all those people in there have got togged up and they've come a long way for I this. I can't get married to Ray just to avoid disappointing them, Max. No, I know Morning. you. Morning. 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 Look, I'm not asking you for one second to marry somebody that you don't love. What are you asking me to oh, do, Max? Hey, 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 come on, you'll have to shake it up. They're getting restless in there. Yeah, hey. I've done the whole of Oliver now. Well, I try Phantom of the Opera, they're bound to know that. Look, can you not think of something to save us having to go in there and say there's not going to be any wedding? <laughs> calm down, calm down. If you can close, you can open. Yes. It's gonna be one of those days. Huh. Oil. Oil. Welling up from deep underground caverns under incredible pressure. Pressure! There we go. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you've both resolved all your difficulties. Yes, well, I'm sure I've made the right decision. Of course you have, but make sure he knows <laughs> who's Tom. Like you do with Daddy, right? Yes, of course, I always have dragged your father. Oh, Juliet, 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 thank you. Here we are. Oh, I'm safe. How do I look? Oh. You look. your train. I haven't got a train. Oh. Do you, Maxwell, Pericles Church, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And do you, Juliet, Matilda Nichols, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. She does. You may kiss the bride. Oh. 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 She's gonna blow! Oh. Oh. I've struck oil! Oh. So that was it. Max married Juliet, Paul struck oil, and we all left the Maidstone Studios a little bit richer in more ways than one. And for once, things really did have a happy ending. I hope you've enjoyed looking back over the best bits of Motormouth as much as I have. And if you're ever passing by my beach hut in the summer, drop in. It'd be nice to see you again. Bye-bye.